hello and welcome members assigning licenses to user so you can see that the topic of this video is really you know straightforward and direct but before we begin ensure that you have one of the following administrative roles like the global administrator license administrator or user administrator and also make sure you have available licenses for assignment because you know to manage and to handle this Microsoft 365 environment in any environment where you want to customize things, where you want to do different things and you know manage different things and assign something, you need some specific privileges and administrative rights to do so. And that's what you have and we have explained in the previous other videos and we will create a specific video on that stuff as well. So let's move to the Windows 11 machine where we are connected to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And once you log in, you can see that you have the dashboard in the middle. And let's click to the active user because it is concerned with assigning licenses to the user. So definitely we will go to the active user section. And here a list of all active users in your organization will appear. And you have both the existing and new users available. And also you can check that they have already some licenses assigned and under this tab the licenses tab against your user list you can see that the mentioning is there like unlicensed and if any user have and still have the license so you can see that the license is just mentioned against that specific user which means that it this active user section will give you the whole detail and it gives you a you know a information in a just you know simple look that which specific license has been assigned to a specific user and same will happen with the group if you click to the active teams and group but currently we are exploring how to assign license to the user so let's switch back to the user and here if you wanted to customize the license further you can expand the app section and how you can expand it so let's say let's open the john doe one of our user and once you open that user you will see this specific tab that will be highlighted and that is most related to this video content because we're going to talk about and we're already showing you the practical stuff regarding the license assignment so here you need to click to the licenses and app tab from the user details pane and under the license section you will see the list of available licenses in your organization and here you can see that few of the licenses are mentioned but currently we are out of licenses that that's why you are seeing this message just below that specific license that you are out of license with the enterprise mobility security e5 same goes with the Microsoft Android p2 same goes with the office 365 e5 so same happened with all these three but there is a one communication credit license which is available right now and it says unlimited licenses available which means that you can select any number of licenses from this available limit and then assign to any user and same will happen if you have like the exchange online or teams or onedrive license available same will happen with this user you will see all these license mentioned here and there is you know another way to find out the count of the licenses and you know the whole licensing detail all you need to do is to expand this billing tab and here you need to click to the licenses and when you click here so in the middle section you will see that all the licenses that were already mentioned on the user details pane and it's still these these licenses are mentioned here and it showed that you have the single communication credit available license which is unlimited as it is mentioned but for the enterprise mobility plus security e5 or the Microsoft Entra idp2 or the office 365 e5 you have few limited license which are already assigned and you can click to the license specific license to see 
which user are currently getting the benefit of this license at this moment. And here you can see you have just two users who are still using this license. And if you have assigned this specific license to the group, so you can click and switch to the group tab. And here you will find out that which group have this license. Now you can see you have specific two users that are using this license and same will happen with the other licenses as well. And the good thing is what that you can directly assign the license as you go to the user detail pane and click to the license. And also you can manage the license from here as well. And how you can going to do that, you need to just click to the user. And once you click here, you will see different buttons will be available like unassigned licenses or refresh or manage app and services. So if you click to unassigned license, what will happen? The license will be retracted from that specific user. And in the same way, if any user is not available, so you can select that user and sign that license to that user. In the same way, you can manage apps and services from here. So you need to select that specific user and you can turn apps and services on and off from this tab, from this, you know, this licenses section under the billing. And here you can enable and disable any of the specific service that is available here, like the Microsoft Intra ID P1, P2, Microsoft Defender for cloud apps. So whatever the service you want to disable, you can disable from here. Then let's go back to the licenses section and let's review and let's explore that how you can assign licenses to the multiple user and that is specifically called the bulk assignment, how you can do that. So let's say if you want to assign the multiple user to, to the specific license. So all you need to do is to select multiple user like that. All you need to do is to select multiple users from the list. And then you need to click to manage product licenses. And let, because currently the screen doesn't show that button so you need to click to this three dotted icon and here under the reset password you're going to find the manage product license and let's click to manage product license and here you have selected the three user what you like to do with the licenses for this user replace assign more or unassign more all so it depends on the case that if you wanted to unassign that the licenses from this user so you can make the selection first and then you would go to manage product licenses and unassign all the licenses and if the case is different like you wanted to assign more so you can keep the existing licenses and go with this option assign more and once you click here you can see that different options start available here and you can make selection on any specific license that it will be assigned along with the previous license that is already assigned to that user so this new more assignment will be done and same will happen if you go this is a little bit different with the assign more option that if you go with the replace so what's going to happen that replace does what it unassigned existing licenses and assign the new one so you can you have to make selection from the list and if you go for unassign all so what's going to happen all the previous licenses that are already assigned to this user will be as unassigned by just clicking save changes here. So this is the way you can lead, you can perform the bulk assignment for your multiple user. And before assigning the licenses, you know, it is important to check the availability and make sure you have the enough licenses before assigning them and how you're going to find that. I have showed you that you should go to the licenses, but there is another way, which is what that you expand the billing section, then click to your products. And once you click and open your product section, so it will give you the details about your current product. And it says that assign yourself a role for the job skill share billing account so that you can use it to manage your product. So currently the user and the role I have, which is limited at this moment, and I cannot see the current product of the JSS. So no problem if you are short of privileges and rights, 
we can go directly to the licenses and this is the best way to get the detail about your current licenses well that's it for today's hands-on session on assigning licenses in Microsoft 365 and we have covered assigning licenses to individual user bulk licensing check license availability and I hope this video was helpful